Hello everyone, it's Shannon here for Hero Arts. In today's video, we are going to create this dreamy nighttime forest scene featuring dies and stamps included in the August Classic and Premium My Monthly Hero kits. Both kits include these park scene fancy dies. I'm going to be using this canyon slash cliffs die as well as the trees die. We're going to start with the trees and die cut this scrap of pitch black cardstock. It does have one side that's four and a quarter which will work great for our card front. I went ahead and ran it through my die cutting machine and now I'm just using my Hero Arts tweezers to kind of pop out all the little negative spaces and love this lacy cut that we're left with. Now moving on to that canyon slash cliffs die. I'm going to die cut some passion fruit cardstock. Again I have a four and a quarter uh, measurement down at the bottom, ran that through my die cutting machine, and now we're going to ink blend this with some grape slush reactive ink. Just going to ink blend the bottom to add a little bit of depth to our scene and just create this really easy ombre or gradation here with that grape slush ink. The reactive inks are a hybrid ink, so they blend so beautifully. I love to use them for ink blending, and actually, we're going to use several for today's card. So now that we've finished with those two layers, I'm going to go ahead and use use my precision glue to adhere the trees to the um, cliff slash canyon layer. Uh, I am going to slide the, the trees down a little bit just to kind of get some more difference in height between the two. And now we're going to use the tree layer to kind of help us position our sentiment on the front of an A2 top folding white card base using this awesome sentiment from the included uh, stamp set that's in both of the kits. Once I get it in the right spot, I'm going to pick it up with my Misty. We are going to do some heat embossing, so I am going to apply some anti-static powder first. Then I will grab Hero Arts embossing and watermark ink, ink up my sentiment, stamp it a couple of times, and then we're going to emboss it with some of Hero Arts detail black embossing powder. I love black embossing powder. I use it often. I just think it creates this beautiful and clean, crisp sentiment and very rich and dark. So once I poured on the powder, I tapped off the excess and then just heat set with my heat tool. Now that we have our sentiment stamped, we're going to ink blend our background. We're going to start with Berry Smoothie Reactive Ink and kind of ink blend um, about um, a third away from the bottom, I guess, and ink blend with that. Um, beautiful kind of pink purpley color. Then we'll move back to Grape Slush and Ink Blend um, right next to the Berry Smoothie. Working here trying to get a nice smooth gradation with my two inks. Again these reactive inks blend so beautifully so it's very easy to do. And then we'll move on to Gal or Purple Galaxy for that upper quarter. And I do want to note that um, I'm not ink blending the very bottom because that's actually going to be covered with our um, little scene that we made or our layer with the trees and the uh, canyon slash cliffs. So now that we've got a little bit or ink blended with that purple galaxy, I wanted to take it up and make it a little bit darker, take it up a notch and make it a little bit darker. So I grabbed Nautical Core ink and just ink blend like about the eighth um, of that top with that beautiful really dark navy blue and that just creates this beautiful dark um, night sky. Now I went ahead and stamped my sentiment again onto some full adhesive post-it note. Fussy cut it out and I'm going to place it over my sentiment to kind of protect it while we create our stars. I'm going to press a unicorn ink or pigment ink pad onto a piece of uh, acetate, spritz it with water, mix the water and the ink together to kind of create this watered down ink, kind of almost like a paint, and then load my brush up with it and then I will tap on the brush to release this fine splatter of uh, white pigment ink to create these stars. I'm going to have it a little bit more heavy handed at the top. That's why I grabbed a, a mask of paper just because I didn't want a lot of stars at the bottom. I wanted most of them at the top of my card. Now we're going to move on to a moon. So I have the infinity or nested circles infinity dies here. Grabbed a circle from that set, die cut it out of canary cardstock, and now we're going to ink blend it with a little bit of lemon drop just to kind of add some depth to our moon. A little bit goes a long way here. It just really adds a lot of interest to this pretty moon. So once I finished ink blending that, we will be ready to kind of start to put our whole scene together. So I'm going to start by adding some liquid adhesive to the backside of our trees and cliffs. 
And I should have actually put some uh, glue down my moon first, but I quickly realized that. So I ha don't have my glue completely set on my scene. And I'm just gonna use the tweezers here to kind of place that moon behind my trees. And then to make sure everything kind of lays as flat and goes into the envelope nicely, I'm gonna add a little bit of little bit more of my precision glue to the backside of these trees just to kind of make sure they lay flat on to our card front and that will actually complete this card did notice a little bit of glue popped out so i grabbed my tweezers to kind of clean that up and here's the finished card i really love the way this turned out I think the overall color palette of this card is absolutely gorgeous, especially that ombre sky from the pink to the rich purple. And then in the foreground, we have our trees and our canyon, which really grounds the scene. And of course, that beautiful little moon that's poking out just kind of sets the final stage of this card. I hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video. If you any questions about the products I use, please check out the links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.